Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Tomen's Guitars and Basses. If you're not familiar with the series yet, I take intros, riffs, licks, bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. This is a recommendation based format, so whatever song you want to learn or have in mind, just put it down there in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. As usual, while you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, appreciate it a lot. And with all that said, let's jump into today's song, which was requested by Alvaro Gonzalez, and that is Bad Penny by Rory Gallagher. Rory Gallagher was dubbed the best guitar player on earth by Jimi Hendrix. Thank you for your request. That's going to be nice. As much as we can say that the tones of Stevie Ray Vaughan or Jimi Hendrix, for example, have inspired a ton of guitar players afterwards. Rory Gallagher's tone was very different, very special, very unique. It's going to be a hard one to nail, but well, I'll do my best. As far as the guitar setup goes, it's going to be fairly easy up until a certain point, because uh, Rory Gallagher famously used a Fender Stratocaster and predominantly the bridge pickup on it. Now, the trick here, as we'll see in the amp and pedal section, is that Rory Gallagher had a fixed sound, if we can call it this way. He had a pedal on, he had an amp in a certain position, and everything else was coming from the guitar. So, for that rhythm tone that we're looking for in the first place, let's just go from 10 on the volume down to 5, and that will take us from there. To there. Now we're getting to a pretty weak signal, but everything's going to come clear as soon as we jump in part two of that video, which is our amp and pedal setup. As I mentioned earlier, pretty much all the sounds that you hear in a Rory Gallagher recording are coming from just the volume and tone knob on the guitar. So from the clean, almost acoustic-like kind of sound to his main rhythm sound to his lead sound, these are just going to be different positions on your volume knob. And that's why we went down to five, because Rory Gallagher famously used a Vox AC30 completely dimed, but when I say completely, it's like completely timed, everything on 12. And then boosting that with a treble booster. Now, I don't have a Vox AC30 here, but in fairness, even if I had one, I wouldn't crank it because I, I like to listen to things. So there's a really cool thing that happened at some point in history and that allowed you to emulate the sound of a cranked amplifier, and that is called a distortion pedal. What you're looking for here is what is usually referred to as an amp in a box kind of a thing. So like a distortion pedal that emulates a certain amplifier when it's cranked. This is what I have here with the Boss GHS Angry Driver. So I'm going to use the Angry Charlie side of it, which is essentially a JCM 900 amp cranked. The controls will be on screen and that will take me from there. To there. That's a pretty cool sound on its own, but the format's called Hit The Tone, so I don't really have a choice there, and I'm going to have to treble boost. There are pedals out there that are made to be used as treble boosters, and usually reference as such. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you can absolutely just use a boost, clean boost, or transparent kind of overdrive, and just boost the treble on it, which is what I'm going to do just now. And that will take us to this sound.
And now the really cool thing about that setup is if you want to go from your rhythm tone to your lead tone, the only thing you have to do is crank the volume and I'll take you there. <laughs> So these pedals work, at least to get close to Rory Stone. Again, if you want the real deal, Vox AC30 all the way up treble booster. With all that said, let's head on to the final part of that video, and that is how to play the song. I'm going to divide this explanation in two parts. The first one will be the rhythm section, and the second one will be the lead. The rhythm section of that intro is composed of three chords, which are D major, F major, C major, and back to D major. And it's going to look something like this. As far as the fretting hand goes on these chords, nothing too fancy, just follow the main rhythm of the song. That being said, there's a hammer-on pull-off on the C chord and on the final D chord to go back to that C root. And that is going to go like this. And as far as the lead section of that intro goes, your fretting hand should look like this. And so going on your picking hand for this part. If you're wondering why I chose to do these demonstrations with a clean tone, well, there are some downsides to Rory Gallagher's tone, and although you hear it in his live recordings, having such a setup with such so much treble on a single coil guitar will come at this price. So that's also a good thing to keep in mind. If you're beginning the guitar, the electric guitar, and that noise is happening, well, unfortunately, that's kind of normal. You can remedy that with stacked single coil or a noise gate somewhere in your signal chain. But then again, he didn't use one. Why bother? If some of you guys want to spend some more time learning the song, however, the tabs are as usual available in the description box down below. And with all that said, I believe that's it. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Rory Gallagher's song, Bad Penny. As per usual, this is a recommendation-based format, so whatever song you have in mind, whatever song you want me to cover, just put it down there in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as I can. While you're down here, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, really appreciate it. Until next time, have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.